Ayo, hey hello everybody, it's Mini Rubric and welcome to another episode of Minifig Reviews, but this one is actually Halloween based, which is definitely very cool, but the series will temporarily stop for a certain amount of time, I just don't think it gets enough views and everything compared to the rest of the content, especially considering how much effort I actually put in this Minifig Review video, so the amount of videos a week will probably stay the same, but I will just have something else going on just so you know this is gonna be for a while now without further ado let's get straight into it the first minifigure here is gonna be the fly man from the lego collectible minifigure series 14 i believe and yeah this is actually a very very cool minifigure in my opinion i love the head mold it's just so impressive with you know basically really looks like a fly and you know on a scale of this it actually looks pretty creepy like not gonna lie it looks very very cool on this minifigure torso and leg pieces i also really like the wings definitely a nice addition there and there's also some pretty good printing on the torso and legs even though legs could have used a little more details i would say also with the arms i like how one of them has a special mold, mold there that's actually really really cool if you ask me so yeah overall a very very awesome figure it could have been a little more detailed in some areas but overall i will go with 9 out of 10 second mini figure isn't actually even an official figure you could say but it is made out of the official lego parts this is actually a mini figure i created a few years ago in the build a fig section in the lego store and yeah i mean it has some really really cool exclusive pieces to it at first we have that skirt with the spiders, obviously there was a very similar figure in the series 14 but with the red color scheme and here we have some pink highlights and all of that actually looks really really cool in my opinion. There was actually another torso but the Lego store didn't have it but yeah I actually chose this one from the Dracula but it has some purple details instead of the red ones which I also think is really really cool. The face also has similar things going on compared to the legs and then obviously we just have a regular hairpiece there so overall I will go with 8.5 with this build a fig figure. I really like how it looks and it has some really cool exclusive prints not gonna lie. Third mini figure is actually the possessed waitress from the shrimp shrimp attack hidden side set I believe and yeah I really like this figure i mean torso in the legs obviously fit with the normal minifigure obviously nothing special there some pretty good colors though i really like the color scheme there and yeah, yeah the main attraction are the head and this new specialized hairpiece for the hidden side sets and yeah i really love what they have going on there some really really cool details not gonna lie it definitely makes a really creepy design for this minifigure here so yeah, I actually really like what we see here, really good, I mean it doesn't really perfectly match with the color scheme of the torso and the legs considering the head, but obviously I suppose I know what they were trying to do, so I will go with an 8 out of 10 for this one. Fourth minifigure is gonna be this very very creepy crab like creature from the Atlantis team and yeah not gonna lie I'm actually quite blown away by how interesting this figure looks like it's really just what in the world is this at first we have short legs then we have the torso and then the torso has the mouth printing which you know you can attach this very very weird molded piece over it and yeah it looks very very scary you know it's just really interesting not gonna lie such a sinister design you could say also these um crab arms also look pretty weird that's for sure so overall it's definitely such a weird minifigure i definitely appreciate the weirdness of it like it's really interesting i must say but yeah it's just too odd in some eras so i will go with 7.5 out of 10 and lastly, we're gonna take a look at the Legacy Overlord minifigure from Legacy 2 Ninjago sets. And I absolutely love this minifigure. Such a sinister design. Like, really, I'm just surprised they went with that because, 
you know, it's not really accurate by any means, but I personally love it a ton because the design is just incredibly interesting. At the bottom we have the ghost piece, then we have a regular torso, followed up by a very, very good double torso. I love the printing on that one. And then you have just the most terrifying Lego face print, I think. I don't think a Lego face print can get more terrifying than that. It's literally just poor evil printed on this plastic head. I think that's the only way to put it. And then we also have the helmet at the top. So yeah, very sinister figure. I like the look of it a lot. It's very, very cool. And I will go with 9.5 out of 10. I always love this minifigure way too much than I probably should. Because some people definitely find it controversial. But personally, I just always loved it so much and always will. So this is gonna be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed this episode of minifig reviews, but however as I said this series is taking a break at least for a certain amount of time so here's that but you can still comment your suggestions on minifigures you want me to review in whatever the next episode will be but it definitely won't be based off Halloween like this one was just so you know. This is gonna be it for this video, if you enjoyed it highly appreciate a like. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you can already. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.